Hello, hello, we back. Finally, the last episode before we start with the Alien Invaders project where we make our own game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Took 21 episodes, that's crazy. Okay, it's been a while, so I don't really remember what we did last time. Uh, uh, but from what I can see... Uh, but what the fuck did we do? <laughs> what, what did we do? We made a class... We made some functions that tests our class with the self-assert equal. Oh, oh yeah, we did it like that, huh? Yeah, okay, I remember. We are continuing with testing classes. So what we did was we tested the functions, individual functions, this function in particular. Now we're going to do four classes, I, I, I guess. Huh. And apparently... I thought this was the only method in the unit test case. But there are five other methods. You got the assert not equal. And then you got an A and B. You got the assert true for X. And uh, I'll, I'll leave the other, other tests on the screen. Here you go. Very cool. But uh, those you can also use. So I kind of feel scammed, I'm not gonna lie. But okay, let's talk a bit about classes. I kind of forgot how classes worked, what the syntax was, but we will try. In this one, I want to make a class where people can fill in a server, okay? All right, and now we got to put in some methods. So in this one, I want to do a self of question is equal to the question. And also a self dot responses. And uh, let's make a blank list for this. Then I want three more methods. One where I can show the question. One where I store the response. And the last one where we show result. All right, so these are our methods. Pause the video if you want to have a try yourself. I'll start in three, two, one. All right, so uh, we want to show the question. So we basically do this. So if you're like, why, why this one? Well, you just gotta look here. You gotta, you gotta steal it from there. All right, next up, store the response. Uh, we wanna append the new response because that's where they have to fill in. Response this is the list. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? Oh yeah. So in the list, what they fill in. Okay, and then, and then lastly, show the results. Uh, okay, so this is gonna be our class. Uh, it's gonna be a module, so we ain't gonna fill things here. You know, we gotta make a different file. For now, we'll just call it language survey, and then we gotta import it. So import survey. Okay, so now we have imported it in here, and then we can fill in some questions. I think that's the only thing we gotta do. So now we can make a question and also a variable to store it in. Question is equal to what language did you first learn? And we'll store it into a my survey. So we fill in the class. And then we put it in here. I don't get it actually. Um, okay, so we can use this method to show the question. Sure, sure, sure. We can also store the response. Response, but to store the response, we have to put it into the new response, which means what the fuck do we do then? Actually, I don't know. So while true language, then we can store the response in the store response method, which is this one. Jesus Christ, my brain. And then we can what my survey survey dot show answer uh, oh show results show results hi and of course we also have to add in a as if they input quit so if response is equal to you we want to break let's see let's do a Dutch let's do english japanese mandarin Danish, and thank you then after that it will show the results wow okay so we we know it works somehow i really need to learn classes again goddamn how do we how do we test it 
how do we test this stuff huh we have to make a new file oh and so many files and, and it's, it's kind of like if you want to test something make a new file and just call it test of the of the class i'll delete that one i'll also delete this one just so you know name function test name function survey test survey so we gotta import it first of all unit test and also from survey import anonymous survey and let's write the class where we are going to test anonymous survey from the unit test dot test case that's kind of clear right that's that's kind of easy and then let's think of a test we want to do let's do a test where we just store a single response so, so then we gotta fill in all of these <laughs> Stored in a separate variable, anonymous sur survey question, my survey dot store response, let's do English. And then we're going to use a different one. We're going to use this self.assert in, which basically looks at if an answer or response is in a list. So we have English in the list of my survey. And then we use a unit test. We also got to do the if name equal to main. There we do this. For some reason, I don't know. Okay, let's run the code and it somehow worked. I'm gonna be honest, if I did not have the book, I would not get it. Do you guys get it? I guess I'll just look at it until I get it. Okay. This is a class which tests anonymous survey with the unit test dot test case. This is just a method in the unit test module. Gotcha. Then we made a method where we test a single response that gets stored. So we first have to fill in some things here. So number one is the question. Well, question is equal to this. Then we make a separate survey where we have the class. And then for some reason, question. I don't get this part though. And then we use the store response method here where we put a new response in. In this case, we put in English. So that gets stored into the new response. Uh, and because it's a new response, it gets appended to the responses list. And to show the results, we have to print this and we use a for loop for that which prints every response in the responses list, which which means English. Oh, we don't do that though. So we expect to see English in the responses list. So we use self.assert in to see if English is in the my survey, which is this one, dot responses, which is the, the list. And then this piece of shit code. And uh, it, it runs, it runs. Okay. And just to show you, we can also make another one where we test three responses. So let's do also, let's just do it like this for some reason. I fucking hate, I don't like this. Oh, we make a list. Oh. And then for response in response. I guess we can use this. Huh? Oh, and then we, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I'm figuring things out from reading the book at the same time. But we make this variable and we can use a for loop with this list, my survey dot responses. And then we can test with a for loop or response in responses. Self dot assert in response and my survey dot this is such a fucked up thing, but okay. Mandarin not found. Wait, what? Why the fuck does that work? Wait, let me think. Response responses. Oh, wait. Yep. Now it works. Okay. Now you guys can see that it kind of fucks up the whole thing, right? We have to make a single response. We have to make uh, three responses within the, the code. There's actually an easier way to fix this. To do that, we basically just create an instance, I guess, with the set up 
self method ho ho and then we just basically create a list or story or, or context i guess and then we can just test our tests based on the, the 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 on the list so let's see we gotta paste this here this here this here gotta put a self in there for some fucking i'm so confused with all the selves yo guys classes are gonna fuck me up i gotta i gotta really <laughs> gotta really uh relearn that huh <laughs> Okay, and for now, I'll just rewrite this just so uh, my brain can work properly. So what do we do? Well, now we got to do self dot my survey. Okay, then we got to go in input the, the method we want. We want to store a response, store a response. Okay, and what do we want to store? We have to store in a new response. Okay. So let's do responses, self dot responses. And we can just take one. So if we want to access it, we have to do it like this. And then we can use zero for Mandarin, one for Spanish, or two for Japanese. Let's do zero. Okay, so now we have stored it. And then we can test it. So self dot assert in. And you want to see the self dot responses zero. And if that's equal to the self dot my survey dot responses, because because this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. Are you guys following along? Uh, okay, so we run the code. It works. So now we have proof that it works. Uh, same story for this one. We'll basically I'll just. Go that fuck. and the last thing so you guys see these dots right this basically says how many tests you uh ran so if i were to do uh this again now we got three tests i basically copy pasted this yeah we see three dots if we had four tests we would see four dots okay sometimes we see an f that basically means uh, failed assertion i don't know what that means uh sometimes you also see an e which means error yeah Okay, I don't like classes. They are confusing as fuck. If you guys understand them, hey, good for you, man. But me? Nah. But it's okay. I'll, I'll learn it. It's it's fine. It's fine. You, you guys see this? You guys see this? Part 2 projects. We are gonna make this game, guys. We're gonna make this game. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of episodes. Maybe. I don't know. I, have, I really haven't planned it out yet. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.